We are looking at a scarce seven volume set in period leather bindings by Buckle. They're raised bands with gilt rules and gilt lettering and nice little ornamentation at the base of each spine. The top edge is gilt. The covers are marbled paper like so, as are the end papers of all the volumes. It's a very scholarly and uh, nicely uh, typeset book. It dates 1858, right here, published in London. And this first two are the history of London. And it's, uh, he goes into all sorts of uh, intellectual, ignorant men are mischievous in proportion to their sincerity. <laughs> that is great. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting, with all sorts of footnotes and uh, commentary below the text. And so we'll put this one here like so, and this next one, they're all in this kind of condition. There is a bit of staining to some of the spines, as you see, but uh, in my opinion, that just adds a, a sense of age character to the set. There's a tiny little chip at the very top of the headband here that's hard to see, but is there, and I want to just reveal it so you so you know. And this one here is like so. And here we are. I'll just show you each book briefly. Solid books. Rather heavy. It's a very heavy set. Henry Thomas Buckle. <laughs> witchcraft. Oh, right. That one went into witchcraft, the history of... Uh, here it is. History of witchcraft. He went into the history of uh, pricing, condition and influence of women, Asia, Africa, the character of people. Yeah, this is very interesting. Okay. Commonplace book. There we are. This, these later ones are Longman's Green and Company. It's first earlier ones here. This one was John Parker for the earlier ones, second edition. Issued over a period of years in that case. Okay. With an extensive detailed index at the rear. Tattooing, tea, just, just a couple random Subject scenes, swords, syphilis, Sunday, smallpox, slavery, ha, jeez, silver, none in Ceylon, oh my goodness. So, this set is now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.